Hey, it's Teacher Casey from Simba School Music. All right, so um, we're gonna do another video, and this time is gonna be geared more towards violas and cellos. This is more of like a warm-up video. We're gonna do some bow holds, some bow control exercises, and we'll do uh, the D scale, um, similar to what I did in um, the violin video. So a basic warm-up, and uh, maybe we'll do some rhythms with the scale too. All right, so let's get started. First of all, let's check some bow holds. I have seen some crazy bow holds in my day. So let's make sure yours is not one of those, all right? So notice how my second finger is near the clip. We call this little silver thing the clip, all right? So middle finger near the clip. Now, granted, there are a bunch of bow holds out there. You may be surfing YouTube with all your free time and seeing some strange bow holds that are not gonna look like what I'm showing you. When you can play, you know, uh, something really crazy, let's say uh, Elgar Cello Concerto, go ahead and pick your own bow hold. But until then, let's stick with the basic bow hold, okay? All right, so pinky is near the eye. It's not on top like a viola or a violin. A cello pinky, you guys are down, down for the count, all right? First finger is here, your thumb. Your thumb is right about, can you see that? That's kind of hard to see, huh? There we go. See a little spot where there's, oh, well, you can see my wrapping has come off, right? But right there, right above that little bump, right? Thumb is flexible. It's not stuck like this, this half moon look. No, it's flexible. You need to have a flexible thumb, all right? Good, careful not to pronate too much like this. You're more on top of your draping over, okay? All right, so. If you haven't done some exercises with your bow, now's a good time to start. Why don't you do something like we're holding over here. Yeah, get your arm moving. Make some weird pig noises. Awesome. Drive your parents crazy. This is what this is why you pick picked a cool instrument. Drive them crazy. Ha. -ha. All right. Make sure your bow is nice and straight. Good. Let's do some swings. Mhm. Mm Meanwhile, you're keeping your bow hold, all right? Don't let your bow hold change. This is the whole idea of this, to keep your bow hold the same, okay? Some swings. All right, now let's place it about this far from your for index finger, okay? All right, let's do some rolls. Try to make them real silent, all right? The idea is no sound. So you have complete control of your bow. All right, now pick a string, let's pick D. Can I pick D? Now, go ahead and sink into your bow with your weight and see if you can get your stick to sink down to the hairs, all right? Now, I notice how my shoulder is not going like this. You're nice and relaxed, all right? Relaxed, sink into it. I'm actually using part of my lower back feel like there's a big elephant sitting right there on your arm, okay? So really, you can use your left hand. Give yourself that sense of, right, your fingers and the weight of your arm pulling that ce uh, cello bow into your cello, okay? Good, now go ahead and lift and place it more in the middle, same thing. Feel like you have all of the gravity in the world sitting on your bow, okay? Good, let's pick it up, put it at the tip. This is harder. Try to keep your bow straight, none of this craziness, okay? Keep your bow not nice and straight. Okay, those fingers are really working. Keep your bow hold, all right? Pull it back, middle, excellent. It's good, good. So you're just practicing rolls here and there and weighted, weighted arm, excellent. What should we do next? Ooh. Circle bows are really important for control. Let's go back to that place where your first finger is about this far from your contact point. We call that a contact point. Let's pull a bow on the D string all the way around, make a circle bow and land back at that spot, all right? Here we go, and circle bow and land. Ooh, I was a little bit too close. I'm gonna try it again, all right, try it again. Take a breath before you go. Good, and did you sink into your sound? Sink into your bow? Okay, let's do a couple more. All right, if you release your 
your weight as you get to your tip, it's going to sound like this. Do you see how my weight kind of depleted like a balloon, right? Sink all the way through your bow. Here we go. The goal is for a nice, clear sound, all right? A nice, clear, steady sound all the way around and to land. Now, here's another thing you want to look out for. Circle bow sizes, right? Right now we're doing pretty big size circle bows and I'm drawing a circle with both sides of my, of my bow. So my tip is not going crazy. Right, you can't even see my tip, but do you see what I'm doing? Like it's all the way like this, right? Try to keep it more even, so the same size circle. If you need to, grab the other side. Grab the tip and practice with holding the tip. Okay? All right, so now you got those down. You feel like you're getting pretty good at those. Place your bow at the tip. Go up bow. You want to have that nice clear start like you did at the frog. And a nice circle bow. All right, land back where you want to. It's okay if you help for now, help your tip land until your thumb and your fingers and your arm is heavy and you get more control. Here we go. Bow bite. Okay, when I say bow bite, I want your fingers to activate. Activate. And circle back. Activate. That gives a little bite at the beginning of your sound. Activate. Yes. Okay, you get the idea. <clears throat> now, you may think these are tedious. I'm telling you, if you do these a lot, you're going to have some serious control of your bow. All right? Just make a plan. Do like, I think I told the violins five a day. Tells the viols you're better than that. How about you do ten a day? Do ten down bows, ten up bows, all right? Get to the point to where your thumb looks like that. Check out that. You see that bump, that little dent in my thumb? That is what you're looking for. Some serious credibil cred credibility right there. That's cred right there. Yeah, it should hurt. No pain, no gain. All right, so you got your circle bows going. Let's do some... Um, D scales, all right, D scale. Remember the key of D, you're gonna need F sharp, third finger, right? And you're gonna need on the D string, and you need C sharp, third finger, on the A string, all right? No second fingers, leave those guys at home. We don't need those, all right? All right, so let's do, um, ooh, I gotta get my trusty, trusty. Where's my, where's my, uh, oh no, wait, I gotta get my um, metronome. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Set your metronome, if you have one, set it at 60. This is a good, like, a good steady tempo. This is like the tempo of choice, all right? Can you see it? 60 is good. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here where I can hear it. All right, I'm gonna put my necklace away. It's making some funny noises. All right, let's start with half notes. Half notes, all right? Find your bow hold. Get all set up. Place your bow. I, kind of in the middle will be the best place for now. Here we go. Half notes, ready, play. To the A string. you're sinking into your string and that you've got that cred right there on your thumb nice strong fingers weighted arm okay cool now the harder one is the whole notes your bow has to move slower you're gonna move your bow slower and that means that you have to have more weight all the way through to the to the tip right keep your weight all four beats let's give it a shot here we go get all settled check your bow hold Take a breath. 
two, three, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. A string. harder to sustain an even sound doing whole notes it's a little bit harder yeah but you can do it you can totally do it all right so start your warm-ups with something small and simple like that okay don't go all crazy and start playing you know crazy stuff when you when you first get going I always start with something really soothing and long to kind of warm up my fingers and my ear all that kind of stuff okay Miss Casey let's go do something else let's let's get mo let's get rolling Fine, fine, fine. I had the violins do some rhythms. So the first one I had them do was um, down, puppy, up, puppy. That would be a quarter note, two eighth notes, another quarter note, and two more eighth notes. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Down, puppy, up, puppy. All right, here we go. Turn on that metronome. Set it at 60. Down, puppy. Be up, puppy. Okay, here we go. Get all set up. Shake your bold. Check that thumb. Ready, play. <laughs> bow you're gonna use you can't use the same amount of huge bows when you're um, going faster okay so think about that how much bow do I really need if I'm going this fast or if I'm going this fast okay cool let's do another rhythm how about um my all-time favorite tucka tucka t t so I'm not being really picky about how short the tt's are 
Um, if you're my private student, you know I want them really short. But for now, let's just see just basic. Put it in the middle. Doesn't have to be too short, too long. Let me put down my metronome. I'm still at 60. So your rhythm is four eighth notes, two quarter notes. Okay, let's do the scale. Ready, play. with your scales um what else should i do Ooh, i got some good ideas stay tuned